78 years old, this submarine base was built to home German U-boats during World War II. In the center of Bordeaux, it was critical in the Battle of the Atlantic. The space had a flotilla of 43 submarines assigned to it and was operational from May 1943, but it was used for less than two years. The space is made of 600,000 cubic metres of reinforced concrete. Destroying it would not have been economically viable. So it's found a new purpose. becoming the world's largest digital art space. It was chosen not just for its size, but also its large pools that reflect projections and create an immersive experience. When we visited the space, we knew we had to work with it. We had this epiphany and we knew we had to put on exhibitions here. 90 video projectors will use every surface to bring iconic art to life. Visitors walk through narrow gangways to tour the submarine pens, some 100 metres long and 12 metres high. This is essentially a lump of concrete, which is gigantic and humid, and we use technology and microelectronics, so we face a number of challenges. The primary inaugural artist is Austrian painter Gustav Klimt, Different artists will be selected next year. From here, a fleet of hunter submarines would launch to destroy Allied ships across the Atlantic. Now, it's called the Pools of Enlightenment and projecting a very different message. Charlotte Ballas, Al Jazeera.